Oh hey everyone, welcome back to the episode of Buy or Not, Worth or Not, the player review series here on FIFA 20 where I was going to wear a bandana and it was going to be very appropriate for the player review that we're doing, but I couldn't find the bandana, so I wore this cowboy hat instead. It doesn't make as much sense, but we're reviewing Cowboy Maro Zarate? For the low, low price of one 85 rated squad with two informs and like 75 chemistry uh, and an Argentine player, you can get this flashback Maro Zarate. It costs about 85,000 coins. Most of you guys probably have some cards that you can put into it, but still, it's worth 85,000 coins and you have to think of it that way because those could be coins, could be players that you're using towards a different player, even if you already have them in the club. And what do you get for this Maro Zarate card? Well, I've gone and I've done a mad thing, boys, and I've added Deadeye because his passing is pretty bad. Only 73 for vision, 71 for crossing. Short passing, which is very important for a striker, was only at 81, so we had to boost that. Goes up to 83 for vision, 76 for crossing, 91 for short passing. Still, the vision's kind of low, but uh, for a striker, I don't think it's the worst thing ever. His pace is pretty good as it is, 88 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. I should also mention he's 5'9", so shorter guys, he's going to have the shorter, stockier body type, I think. So he'll probably be quicker than someone who's like 6'3". 4-star skill moves, important, but only 3-star weak foot. High-low work rates should be good. Difficult to link because he plays for Buenos Aires in the uh, Argentine League, but there are some ways to link him that we'll see in a second. So you can see the shooting stats, pretty good, 99 for attack positioning, 99 for finishing, 99 shot power. That's all going up because of Deadeye. Agility, 97. This is stuff that would normally be affected by Sniper, but we're not doing that. 95 dribbling, 94 ball control. The one thing to watch out for is only 80 composure. And then you see 84 stamina, 77 strength. Now, is this the best chemistry style to use? I'm not exactly sure. I think the passing is important, but I might switch to a different thing if it doesn't prove to be good. I was actually gonna go with Hawk because that does boost strength as well and pace. But let's try this at first. Uh, you can see some of the other players that we have. It's a different looking squad. We do have Messi and he has scored how many goals? 186, what a lad. You already know how we do here. We're stupid boys. So we go three at the back, three, five, two formation. Saul Alaza, Alaza card is amazing, by the way. Zarate, uh, I'm gonna keep him there, but I might, I, I wanna do some finesse shots, but he might be better for low driven. I'm not exactly sure yet. So I might swap him with Messi. Tell us John Barnes and Babu playing a center back because that's how we roll. Oh, and do I have a treat for you boys? If you drop a like on the video right now, if this video hits 500 likes, I will open the pack. If it doesn't hit 500 likes, I won't open the pack. How will I tell before? Um, mind games. Hope you liked it. Let's open the pack, because we hit 1,000. Wow, you guys are incredible. Prime Gold Players Pack. I hope this is worth tier 2 or however many games I've given. How many days I've given to this stupid game. It's a blue. It's an English player. I don't even know. Right wing, Raheem Sterling. That's pretty good, but I already have Raheem Sterling, and I don't think this is tradable. And I don't think the other one is tradable. So I've been mugged. There might be someone else hiding back here, or there is not. And uh, I mean, at least I get to keep him because he's the blue version. I have the other version already. Is it good? Yeah. Is it bad? Kind of. If you guys haven't, you better follow my Spotify because there's some new hot beats coming soon. And this is serious. Spotify.com slash long transaction. Also Apple Music. I always say Spotify, but it's pretty much any music source that you listen to. Please listen to my music because that is the only hope and joy I get in my sad little life. Is it true or not? I don't know. By the way, I still have like, I still have like a hundred of these wristbands that say dad or not on them and I don't know what to do with them. I don't want to sell them to you guys because I don't want to charge you $5 for a stupid wristband, but I also don't want to lose $100 because of shipping fees. So let me know what I should do with these stupid buy or not bracelets. This guy has a kind of good team, but also kind of bad at the same time. Why is he still using a 79 rated center back? I think that's Upamakano, but I'm not exactly sure. Who knows? Zerate. Saul. Saul with a tackle. Get it down to Zarate. It's Maro Zarate. Zarate all the way. He's already scored. I'm a mad lad. On the weak foot, by the way. On the left foot. 
but he seemed pretty quick. I don't want to jump to any conclusions because I don't have my map with me, but I don't think this guy is the best. I'm about to lose 7-0. I've already scored another. They're going to take the goal away. VAR said no. Haji. Oh, it's Zarate who's let it run so well. Zarate. Oh, no. I should have maybe ball rolled and then I would have gotten a better angle. But that is some good play by the Zarate card. The Zarate kid, if you will. Remember that series? Zarate plays it down. It's Haji. It's messy. It's left footy. That is good play. Don't quit, please. Thank you. He's not going to quit. We're 2-0 up. I got it to Lionel Messi. That's the one thing about this Zarate card. He's Argentine. I don't have too many Argentines. He gets a link to Messi. Messi's good. One touch football and look at that finish. How did he get that curve on it when I hit it with the outside of the foot? Only Messi knows. The core into Perisic. How did he get that through? He gets his one shot and it's 2-1. What did I tell you boys? I'm going to lose 7-0. Palaza to Messi. Plays a 1-2 with Zarate. It's Zarate. He's got room to run forward. Zarate. Bang it there. Oh, no. Not really the strike that we wanted. Maybe I should have finessed it, but I was confident with hitting it like that. Zarate does put a really good ball in there. No one attacked it well enough. Haji to Zarate. Still Maro Zarate gets the angle. Gets the... That's good. That is good. I keep getting these two-on-ones where I'm getting one guy running right through the middle. It allows for a lot, of, a lot of room for Mauro Zarate to operate. And if he keeps scoring those with the outside of the foot near post, which is a goal I tend to score a lot of in this game, uh, this could be very good for us. Play it now. Oh, and this is good play. Alex Tellez. Can he cut it back to Zarate, who does on his right foot? What a save. It's going to come out to Golazo. That was off balance and bad. Halftime, and I'm pretty happy with the performance. He had that one shot and really was the only goal. Since I've been playing more of that Sunderland career mode, which you can find almost daily on my channel, please hit the notification button so you get notified when I upload. Well, since I've been playing that, I've noticed that I do a lot more possession-based football, which is really how you win in this game. So, uh, play career mode and you become Elite One. Oh no, Marquinhos. No, not a- oh, what a save. I thought he was going to score on his second shot. Alaza. Still with it. Haji. Haji on side. Left foot. Oh, so unlucky. That was a really good timed, really good placed and timed pass by Zarate. I'm telling you guys, dead eye. It's a game changer. Go. Through for Messi. Leo. Oh, he got by Rio Ferdinand. Still Leo. Leo. Composure. Oh, no. I, I expected Leo not to take that long because he has a really short run or swing before he kicks the ball, but there he just took too long. Oh my gosh, Namas, what a double save. He was on the ground when he hit it, and it was just an incredible save. Oh, it's Mario Rosarate. He's gone through, and he scored. Uh, I was yelling at someone, so uh, that commentary is bad. I didn't expect him to take the chest control and get through. Left foot again. Is that a hat trick for him? I'm confused. Full time. Played to the 94th minute because that was very necessary in this 4-1 match. Zarate did get a man, a good man of the match and game ball for scoring his hat trick. I didn't even realize it. He scored a 10. Hat trick. Assist to Haji. 2 to Haji. Barnes. Saul. Shots on target. 6 to 6. Passes completed. 12 of 16. Um, I, see, I play so much better with Messi when I'm not just focusing on getting him the ball every single time. And it really shows. Now this is what I learned. Actually, you can see more in-depth stats. So he lost the ball 14 times, but he retained it twice, or he won it back twice. He had one key pass, which is good. Had a lot of good passes overall. One tackle one, doesn't really matter. The main thing you need to see is the fact that he scored three times. All right, and the second opponent is going to come up with Rashford, Neymar, Dan James. Everyone has the Dan James cards. Soko, Pogba, Mbappe. I wonder what he's going to switch to. Probably like a 4 triple 2 He does have that Kenny Lala and Furlan Mendy. So those fullbacks, that's actually a really good team because of, <laughs> look at his defense is unbelievable. So because that defense is so incredible, this is going to be a huge test for Maro Zarate. He's gone short sleeve this game in case you guys were keeping track at home. Zarate trying to find it to Messi and he does. That's not fair. Is that Zarate? Sort of. It was a nice pass, really well weighted, 
but 99% of cards are not going to score that. He got some crazy action on that. Alex Tellis is saying hi to his mom as if she really cares. She just wants to say hi to Lionel Messi. How did he score from this angle? And we've got Messi going forward. Mauro Zarate. Haji. Into Zarate. On his right foot. Oh, that was wayward. Play it through. Zarate, who's got the step on Sergio Ramos. He's done really well here. Should have just had a little bit more composure. What are, he did really well to get away from Ramos, and that Ramos card is incredible. And this is what I don't like. Okay, he's hit the post, and he scored. Very good. He planned that 100%. Killing Mbappe. He may look 15, but he's got the IQ of a 99 year old. Alaza down to Zarate, who's going to find Telus, who's going to find back post. Oh, that was actually really nice play. Too bad everyone in my team is 5'1". There's Zarate. He's done so well to find Messi, who got fouled. They didn't call it, and that annoys me. And what happens when I'm annoyed? I shoot it right at Ter Stegen's face. It's really good from Haji. He's played it back to Messi. We're going to try to find someone. It's Haji on his left foot. He's got room. Oh my god, why do I keep shooting it right at him? Halftime, and this is always, I play this guy a lot, I think, and it's always really difficult because he's a good player and he has a good team. Uh, I'm finding it very difficult to do much against this back line. I'm going to have to put on something crazy. John Barnes is also really bad. I don't know why I'm going to take him off and I'm going to put on Sterling because he's faster. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it like that. Ziek on, Sterling on, maybe it'll be more offensive firepower. Oh, it's Messi who's done so well. Still Leo. See a Leo in the box. Oh my god. Gosh, how has he actually saved that? Yeah. <laughs> how does he save that? Ter Stegen, near post with his hand. Here's Telus. Ziek, back for Telus. Inside Ziek to Zarate on his right foot. I had a really good angle to shoot there. I just shot it at Ter Stegen for the 97th time. Oh, it's, it's Zarate. Oh, Zarate. He fooled everyone with the, with the weird rainbow flick off the butt. Only Mauro Zarate can do that, ladies and gentlemen. That gives us the 2-1 lead in the 75th minute. Do I know how to skill? Absolutely not. Do I pretend? Yes. And confusion is sometimes the best tactic. Play it now. Go. Sterling's gone. Raheem, he's going to get caught. But he's going to find Ziek. Ziek is going to find Mauro Zarate. Yes. Mauro Zarate. Two goals and an assist. 78th minute. Goal after goal, the Serrate card is getting what he needs. Goals. He's not the most impressive in dribbling. He's not the fastest, but he puts the ball in the back of the net, and that's all you need from a striker. Back from Messi. It's Leo. Still Leo. What a tackle by Cam. Oh, it's actually a. It's going to be a rage quit, is what it's going to be, but I thought that was an incredible tackle that almost ended up being a goal. So, man of the match goes yet again. Samaro Zarate got two goals. We didn't play the full game, so he could have had the hat trick. Messi had a goal as well. Assist, Zarate, Ziek, Zaul. A lot of S's in that sound. And uh, overall, I mean, we're going to take a closer look, but he played well. So, Zarate, five shots on target, one shot off target, 88% passing with an assist, one key pass, which was probably that assist. He did lose the ball nine times, but not the worst. Had one interception. He didn't win the ball back, but whatever. I mean, he's not going to do that. Overall heat map, pretty much where you would expect him to be. He does drop back further than uh, you might want him, but I wasn't telling him to just play as an out-and-out -out striker. I'd like to have my strikers, almost like Bobby Firmino, to get link-up play because I want the wide men to push forward. All right, so Zarate, his player review is done. Two goals, play, or two games played, five goals, one assist. That's a really good return. Looking at the stats, um, I would say he was actually faster than what I expected. I know 88 acceleration, 97 balance or 97 agility, 87 sprint speed. You're like, of course he's gonna be fast. But the thing is, everyone in this game now is so fast. Center backs have like 90 pace with shadow. Everyone is really, really fast. This card doesn't actually go up. He's probably like average in terms of speed, uh, pace for players that are being used still in March of 2020 for FIFA 20. Uh, but he was quicker than I expected and I think it has to do somewhat with ball control and dribbling being so high as well as the agility. Uh, the strength I didn't notice too much. It's not like he would get in front of someone and then just hold him off. So this is the bad thing about this card. It's not like he's gonna just stretch the back line and run past the center backs and then once he gets in front of you, once he gets past you, you can't catch up to him. Or if you can, like he, he just shrugs you off. 
he's not really going to get away from you. What this card is, is basically a poacher with some somewhat high stats so that he's not terrible. It's not like, if you had this card with like 75 pace and 75 dribbling, but the same shooting stats, he might get you some goals, but he's not always going to be able to dribble as you would need. So that's why the dribbling and the pace is good, but it's nothing elite. It's nothing weekend league level, especially with all the cards that most people are using now in something like the weekend league. I like this card. And I like cards like this that are cheap-ish, but not so cheap, and they're kind of fun to use. With that being said, it's not a complete buy. Like, I would say it's probably a 5 out of 10. Something like Gary Mackey Stevens was a complete buy because it was cheaper, 5-star skills, very fun to use. This card is fun, but I could easily see myself using him in the weekend league, not really going too well, getting frustrated with it, and then just never using it again. Anyway, that is my review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe, comment, share to your friends. Tip of the cowboy hat to you all. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to spare pets.